I was cleaning out my drawer this morning and I found a check for $3,000. And at first I was like, wait, what is that for? And then I remembered. So a while back I was selling a BMX bike on Craigslist and a scammer contacted me right away. They always contact you right away. And I knew it was a scam because the guy said he owns a bike shop and he wanted to buy it to ship it to his bike shop so he could sell it. And obviously the shipping's gonna cost more than the cost of the bike anyways. It was only like a three or $400 BMX bike new. But even before that, I knew it was a scam. Like you could tell the, the very first message he sent me, I knew it was a scam. You could just tell by the way he talks. It's like broken English and he uses a lot of like, hi there sir, instead of, hey, what's going on man? Just looking to uh, see if your bike's still available. So you just know, you know, you can feel it. After being on Craigslist for so long, you just feel it. Here, let me, I'll just, hold on, let me just read it to you. So this is what he says. Hello, this is Arnold Joseph. Do you still have the bike posted still in good condition as it was posted? Kindly text me your bottom price to make arrangement. So I know right away it's a scam. So I just go to play around with the guy just cause I'm bored probably. Hey there Arnold Joseph. Yes, I still have the said bicycle and the condition remains the same as it did when it was posted. My bottom price is 225, which I think is probably cheaper than, than what I originally had it. No wait. $200, sorry, I meant to say 175, but that's as low as I go. Then he replies, thanks for getting back to me. You see, I have a bike store, so I buy and sell bikes such as this for the purpose of reselling them. Can I mail you a check for this item you wanna sell? Note that you don't have to release your item until you have your cash. So you have nothing to lose. So then I replied, sure, I'll take a check for payment. Where's your bike store? Maybe I'll come check it out. He doesn't have a bike store, that's why I asked. Okay, uh, he replies, do get back to me with the following info, your name, mailing address, blah, 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 blah. So I said, okay, great, but how would you get the bike? As soon as you have your cash in hand, USPS will come pick it up. That sounds very convenient, thank you. And then I was like, what the heck? I'm gonna give him the info and kind of waste his time and you know, see, just curious, just see what the check looks like. And then I lowered my price to 175. I know you want to turn around and sell the bike for more than you bought it for. So I wanna make sure there's enough profit in it for you to be worth your time. How much do you think you can sell it for? Don't know yet, he replies. Then, okay, so the guy said his name was Arnold Joseph. I Googled Arnold bike shop and then this came up. Found a picture online of Arnold's bike shop. So that's gotta be it, right? So I sent it to him. Is this your bike shop? It looks really nice. I bet you can get at least 300 for it. You probably know how to fix it up and make it look real nice. Wink emoji. Uh, thanks, I'll get back to you with a tracking number. Uh, oh, he wants me to take the ad down, um, which is jacked up, man. Okay, obviously he wants me to take the ad down so I think it's sold so that if I get another, another offer, I don't uh, take that offer instead of waiting for his check which i think is just jacked up man you're already scamming somebody somebody needs money that's why they're that's why people sell stuff people sell stuff because they need money and then you're wasting their time you're trying to scam them and you're keeping them from selling it from to legit buyers so these guys these guys are horrible scum of the earth oh and then i googled the name arnold joseph to see what comes up and uh turns out there was an author named arnold joseph so i'm like hey are you in the movies or something i swear i recognize that name nope and then I'm like, wait a second, are you the same Arnold Joseph that is the British historian who wrote the best-selling book, Civilians on Trail, back in 1945? No. Darn, I was hoping I could get you to sign my book, LOL. All right, so here's the check that he sent me. It's obviously a fake, and he basically, uh, he sent it for $3,000. We agreed on a price of like two or three, two something, $200. He sent me a check for 3,000, and then wants me to cover shipping and then um, send him back the rest. So obviously it's a scam, but the question is, this must work. Obviously this works on a few people now and then. So apparently a bank teller is busy not paying attention and they might think it's real and try to cash this check. So my question is, if I take it into my local bank here, are they gonna know it's fake just by looking at it or are they not gonna pay attention? Hello. Hello. Good. How are you? Good. How can I help? Is the lobby's closed? I'm guessing. Um, can you go by appointment only at the moment? Oh. Uh, you need to schedule an appointment? No, no problem. That's okay. okay. Um, so two things. I want to make a withdrawal, but also I got a um, I got a check from a Craigslist scammer. So I'm just doing a YouTube video where I check to see if you guys would be able to tell if it was fake or not. 
Gotcha. Uh, you don't have to be on the video, but is is it okay if you just look at it and let me know if you would think it was real or not? Yeah, of course. I will have it with someone to double check it, okay? Yeah, okay. 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 Me, hey. Probably about 100% positive this is fraud. 100%? How, how can... If it goes in your account, send any of it, uh -huh. it's possible to pull them out, and we may close your account. Right. I would not deposit this. Okay. How'd you get this? I sold a bike, a BMX bike on Craigslist for like 300 bucks, and then this guy sends me a check for $3,000, and then is like, hey, I'm giving you a little bit of extra to uh, cover shipping and stuff. So I, I know obviously it's a fake, but I'm thinking that people will uh, fall for it, obviously, because why else would they do it? Yeah, and then so, of the time, they're gonna want you to send the funds back right yeah. so don't do it. So is there anything on the check that I could tell people on the video to look for to know that it's... Uh -huh. Cool. Um, my suggestion, yeah. Uh, yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Yeah. Do you want the copy back or the original back? I would not recommend hanging out to the original. Yeah. And yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't he mailed it. Really what they do so that they can't be tracked. Uh-huh. Um, and they'll send them some random address. Yeah. Yeah, Craigslist is notorious for those. We've had people quit their jobs thinking this is oh, a for real? job payment. You gotta be really cautious. Craigslist is notorious for these. That's really um, sad and hilarious kind of too, but. Not really, because I mean, if you not, got yeah. scammed, I mean. And you quit your job, like, you go you go in and you tell your boss it. off and stuff, and then no. that's, yeah, that's really I sad. Definitely don't do that, but I don't recommend you have to that Yeah. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I trust you if you want to shred it or something, okay. then, well, then I'm... My fraud department, at least when they're yeah, I'm cool it, with that. Yeah. And then also, I just wanted to withdraw $3,300 out of my checking account because I have to go buy a dirt bike for one of my kids today.